This might shock you to hear, but the few people who can be considered rich need most people to stay poor or in the lower middle class. Think about it. What does it really mean to be rich? The definition of rich is having a great deal of money or assets. We find the definition a bit narrow because you must have a much higher wealth than most people in order to be rich. In our view, the correct definition of being rich is to be able to buy what you want and do what you want when you want it. If everyone or most people were rich, the exclusivity would be gone, and they would no longer be rich. Therefore, the rich need most people to stay poor. In this video, we'll disclose the five secret money rules the rich don't want you to know. Make sure to stick around to the end. The final secret will surprise you. This is investing in a nutshell. First secret, acquire assets, not liabilities. Ask yourself this, why do you wake up in the morning? Do you wake up to go to work? To go to a job you don't like? For a boss that micromanages you? I bet you don't get excited knowing you will get stuck in traffic both in the morning and in the afternoon. No, most people wake up and go to work to get paid a salary. They need the salary to pay their bills and to put food on the table. Are you one of them? Do you dream of financial freedom or escaping the rat race? Honestly, it'll be close to impossible for most people to achieve financial freedom. Why? Because of their habits. How can you build wealth when you have to pay loads each month for the new expensive car your wife really wanted? Or save anything when half your income goes to pay the mortgage for your big house? And don't get me started about talking about the vacation to Florida last summer. You're still paying off the credit card bills from that. This is the buying whatever you think will impress your friends and family mentality that keeps most people stuck in the rat race. If you buy luxuries you can barely afford, it'll be impossible to save anything. It's so common these days to have debt that people don't even consider what it means and how it will impact their financials for the next 25 years. If you have a mountain of debt and financial liabilities, it will drain your income forever. It is really difficult to fill a bucket of water if the bucket has holes in the bottom. Avoid all these if you want to achieve financial freedom. Then what does the rich do? The poor acquire liabilities, like buying an expensive car or renting a big apartment, things that will take money out of your pocket for the next 10 years. The rich acquire assets anything that will put extra money in their pockets. An asset can, for instance, be investments in dividend stocks or real estate that you rent out. If you already have loads of liabilities, don't worry. We have a video describing how you can turn any liability into an asset. Check it out. Being smart with money separates the rich from the poor. The first secret rule of the rich is to acquire assets and not liabilities. Second secret, your time is limited. What is the one resource on earth that is finite no matter how rich you are? Time. Everyone's time here on earth is limited, both in terms of how many years you live and in terms of how many hours there are in a day. There are only 24 hours in a day. Most poor people trade their time for money, meaning their salary is valued by how many hours they work. This does not scale. Your time is limited. Also, remember that during the 24 hours you have each day, you need to sleep eat, take care of yourself, be with your friends, family, and possibly raise children, all of which is important to all of us and takes time. The rich know this. They know their time is limited, and they value their time accordingly. Firstly, they find ways to make income that is not dependent on how many hours they work. They do this by creating businesses and different sources of passive income. If you create a business where you have people working for you, you leverage their time. If you have 10 people working for you for 40 hours each week, you're able to buy 400 hours each week. These hours can be leveraged to produce income greater than the salary you pay for those hours. This scales from one employee to hundreds of thousands of employees. Find ways to leverage other people's time. Secondly, the rich find ways to save their own time. They rarely cut their grass, change the oil in the car, wash their house or do any chores in their house. They hire someone to do all these things because they know they can use their time to be more productive. They value their time more than the cost to get someone else to do the work. How much do you value your own time? How much is one hour worth to you? Ask someone rich, and they will tell you how much they value one of their hours. Your time is limited. Third secret, 
you need several sources of income. Most people have just one source of income, their job. This is very risky as the last few years have proven. If all you have is the income from your job, you will be in trouble if you get fired or if your employer goes bankrupt. The rich know this is too risky, and they make sure they have several sources of income. The average millionaire has five sources of income. How do you get new sources of income? It can be taking a second job, starting an online business, creating new sources of passive income, start to rent out your car on Get Around, creating a YouTube channel or anything else that can generate income. Having just one source of income is risky. You need several sources of income. Fourth secret, saving is not the same as investing. What happens if you save money? Put it in a bank account with low interest rates, or in your mattress for that matter. Your money will be worth less and less each year because of inflation. Said differently, your money can buy fewer things each year. $10,000 10 years ago is worth just $7,745 today. To be fair, everyone should have an emergency fund, even if its value diminishes over time. The emergency fund is put in place to handle true financial emergencies, like fixing your car or fixing the heater in your house. It's not to be used to buy a new computer the latest iPhone, or to take your family to the new fancy restaurant. Many financial advisors will tell you to put three to six months of your salary into an emergency fund. But if you're able to create new income sources and save money on a regular basis, we believe two months will suffice for most people. Does that mean you should stop saving once you have your two months salary in an emergency fund? Of course not. You just need to put your money to work. Your dollars need to be invested so they can create cents for you that you can reinvest and make even more money. You must decide what to invest in, but we can recommend index funds in real estate. For instance, in an ETF tracking the S&P 500 or similar, it's really easy to get started. You can even do it from your phone using Webull, Robinhood, eToro, or similar. Always do your own research before investing. This is not financial advice. Remember that saving is not the same as investing. Fifth secret. Why you should get rich. The fifth secret rule is the most surprising for most. Why should you get rich? Most poor people want to get rich to buy things they want. Material goods such as a car, a big house, crazy vacations. Or to just go to a restaurant every day so they don't need to cook at home. We do understand all these desires. But if they are your primary reason to get rich, you will probably fail. Material motivation is what's called external motivation, and it seldom keeps you motivated long enough to build wealth. If you seek to buy meaningless things, or to brag to your friends and neighbors, you'll probably not do what needs to be done to acquire financial freedom. You'll spend money on things you want too soon. The average millionaire is not driven to impress anyone. They seek something far more important than pure material goods. They want freedom. We know it sounds like a cliché, but this is important. If you seek freedom to do what you want when you want, and to be able to spend your time doing what makes you happy, you will find a never-ending motivation to do what it takes to get there. The freedom to stop working if you want to, or to spend every weekend playing with your kids, will require sacrifices early in life. It will require you to live frugally while you acquire assets, and not liabilities. You need to build businesses leveraging other people's time, while you generate several sources of income. Invest as much as possible, and remember that investing is not the same as saving. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.